Um, well, I presented a paper today on a historical question with uh, great contemporary relevance, which is why did the Middle East fail to develop in relation to Western Europe back in time uh, around the 1500s, there was a divergence in development outcomes between Europe and the Middle East. And a very important explanation in that uh, regard uh, that relates to the primacy of Islamic law, its provisions of inheritance, partnerships and trusts, and how they led to the underdevelopment of the private sector. My argument in the paper is that law was only one part of the institutional framework. The enforcement environment, the way in which political structures were organized, in a sense mattered a lot more than law per se. Uh, and so I talked about the way in which the Ottomans treated the private sector, the way the merchants lied at the lower rung of the you know, backing order of power and privilege, the way the Ottoman state uh, you know, tried to control merchants and, and crafts, uh, the way they prevented merchants from, de from becoming an independent uh, social force are, you know, not just historical facts or historical, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, it's, there's, there's a lot more relevance to that than just historical facts. Uh, because even today's Middle East, you see some of the same uh, underlying inheritance playing its part, uh, especially the role that merchants uh, have played and the way in which merchants have been more dependent on the state than on the market in which they operate.